It's cold as a witch's tight. All right, everybody. First time I've tried to go make bait in eons. So I'm gonna go see if it's even around. Got a big session coming up tomorrow. Let's see what happens with Jeff Waite at West Coast Surf Fishing. Let's see what we got going on. All right, cool. Traveling circus is back in town, baby. See if we can find some bait. It's been a long time since I've looked for it down here. It's been so easy to get it on my other spots. Uh, it's been super easy, but I'm doing a special trip tomorrow with my buddy Jeff Waite at West Coast Surf Fishing, and we're gonna hopefully I'll get some today, so we'll have it when we go out. A lot of times during this part of the year, they go into deeper water and they're not on these shallow spots I normally catch them on so we'll see if they're there baby. let's see if those baits are still there let me show you something <laughs> hey guys so there's no freaking parking at all so I guess I'm gonna have to park in Istanbul I guess <laughs> Shit, there's like nothing so see if we can find something maybe a quarter mile to half a mile actually I'm already at a quarter mile <laughs> I guess half mile or one mile. Let's see what happens. Hey guys, I found this spot that's probably about just over a half a mile away from the spot, but I can't be like carting my bait that far. It's just a pain in the ass and it's probably gonna break my freaking <laughs> my dolly because uh, I converted into this flat thing and it's not really made to take the weight I've always put on it because once I load that thing up it's uh see water is about 8.25 pounds per gallon about 30 gallons in there so that's I don't know about 250 pounds give or take so that's too much load on that thing so anyway uh, I'm gonna see if I can find one up closer if I don't I'll have to bail have to make it out on the water so I just finally found a spot after 35 minutes somebody left so I, I was just parked like in the middle of freaking street waiting I'm just over a quarter mile away so it's not too bad still sucks ass but <laughs> do this let's see what happens hopefully there's bait there after all this work <laughs> all right got about a quarter mile walk there I've never in my life seen this many mackerel down here. This is crazy. I can't, I've seen a couple smell, but I can't even get down to them because there's so many mackerel. There's like a quarter mile of mackerel here. <laughs> Well guys, that sucked. Could not make any bait 
The only thing that was there was mackerel, so that sucked. I mean, I've never seen it like that off the bridge. It was like a quarter freaking mile of it. It's crazy. Never seen it like that before. Saw a couple smelt pop up, but uh, the mackerel were going after them, so I couldn't even get to them. Couldn't even get through the mackerel to get to the smelt, so. Oh well, it is what it is. Hey guys, been down here catching some lobster bait. We got into a nice bite. I think we got about 30 pounds of lobster bait, so we're rocking and rolling. Matt and Ty are catching more bait. There's our bag. Let's see here what we got in here. Not a bad day's work, eh? We got jack smelt, mackerels, and Spanish mackerels. Sweet. Ty is getting the big mackies, baby. That fish is yours, buddy. Look. Good job, Ty. Way head. to go, buddy. Good. Good job, buddy. So we went down and made some mackerel. Got about 30 pounds worth, so we probably got enough for maybe two trips out, maybe three trips between two guys. So, yeah, we're going to do that probably the next trip in the next week or so. So, great day. Awesome. I mean, we should have had more. We had a good time. So, all right. Boy, that is one cool sunrise coming on there. Always too early in the morning, but here we go. Let's see if we can find some halibut in this cold weather. They were here a few weeks ago, so let's see if they're still here. Let's do it. It's cold as a witch's tight.
You guys finally got a chance to test my five gallon trolling bait tank I made. It's awesome. It's working good so far. Probably should have put a longer rope on the end of it so it gets out of my kick radius. I, I thought I'd put enough, but it's kind of tight, but uh, it's not flipping over. The only wild card about this setup is if a seal or something comes up on it, you know, it could just jump on it and flip it over. So that kind of sucks. My thought is I'm going to use this as a central bait tank and just anchor it down onto some kelp. And anybody can use it, you know, friends that come out with me. Like Jeff, wait, West Coast Surf Fishing, that kind of thing. So it's looking pretty nice. It is, there is a little drag weight. So that's for sure. There's a slight amount of it, but it's not too bad. So it's, it's okay. That's why that flipper was kind of acting funny. Yeah, good luck with that, right? Yeah. I have no clue how to get that undone. You got needle nose on you? Like oh, that's cool. <laughs> that works. Yeah. I know, dude. I've gotten throttled a few times, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She got one, dude. Cool. Good job, bro. Yeah, when I saw your net, I was like, I bet that's going to get caught on the sip. Do it. That's yeah, a gonna have to build a rod holder on the other side. Probably. Let me take a picture of it. Helimoto Edwardson! Damn, another one. <laughs> Got another one, guys. He's really sick, too. He's big. I think he's about 29. But then he's super thick. It's a trippy fish. Might help if I'm recording. Pelimoto. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 10. The video's already going, yeah, I guess it is. Look at that thing. Mr. Halimoto-san! Oh, it was san. It was san do good today. It was san got very lucky today. Yes. Hey guys, so I clipped the gills on this like about an hour ago and he's still, he's already flopped about, I don't know, four times since I took him out of the water. What a trip. Alright guys, another productive day. So I got lucky with one. Um, caught him yeah, the same way I always do. <laughs> Super shallow. It's probably standing on his freaking head. Still don't know how these fish bite, but. Anyway, it happened, so cool. All right. All right, guys. I 
It's about nine and a half pounds. And I'm sure it probably shrunk a little bit on the way home. So, nice fish. Twenty-eight inches, almost ten pounds. Cool. It's super thick. Look at how thick that is. <laughs> I've never caught one a twenty-eight inch or that thick. It's crazy how thick this is. It's probably that's a good six inches thick. Jeez, incredible. 